So today we will build a basic brass sound that can work great as a lead sound and is amazing as a starting point for more advanced sound design explorations. It's also perfect if you are using hardware modular, it will sound like this. This video will be very much beginner friendly, so I will not use any complex modules and I will try to explain more what I'm doing and why. Now I will quickly mention that you can find this idea and many many more ideas in my document of patching techniques and ideas. As you can see it has also patch diagrams so you can recreate everything with your own setups. But now let's really start with a basic concept which is using two saw waves and for generating the saw waves, for generating these oscillations, we will use two VCOs, so I will add, uh, add one and then with control D I can just duplicate the module. Now a VCO or a voltage controlled oscillator will generate oscillations, it will generate waveforms that we can then control with voltage because again it's a voltage controlled oscillator. Now in the case of the VCV VCO, as you can see we get four waveforms, but again for this sound we will use saw waves and the next component we will need is a low pass filter. A low pass filter will help us shape the timbre or the color of the sound and add movement to it. In this case the VCV filter is called a VC. F because again it's a filter that we can then control with voltage so a voltage controlled filter. Now I would like to send both VCOs into the filter so if I send let me zoom in a bit if I send for example one saw wave right now this saw wave will go through the filter but I cannot stack the other VCO and use the same input for more than one cable right it will just not connect to anywhere so for this we will need to mix the signals with the mixer before the filter and use the mixed result. So in this case we will use the VCV mix. This is a so called unity mixer so it will mix signals without any attenuation in volume. But you can see that I have the level here set to about 50% so the mixed result is not too loud. So now we can use both uh, VCOs, both saw waves and send them from the mixer, send this mixed result into the filter. Right, so now let's already listen to this and um, let's bring this here. By the way, I will use also color coding just so maybe it's easier to follow along. So audio, as you can see, is red. So now again, we will use the low pass filter, the LPF. So this will go to the output and now we can change the timbre of the sound, we can change the color with the filters cut off control, right in this case we use a low pass filter so everything lower than the cut off point will pass through, it's a low pass filter and everything above will be attenuated so its level, its volume will be reduced. Now this means that the more we take the cutoff to the left, the sound will get darker. The more we take it to the right, the sound will get brighter. Have a listen. Right, again, everything below will pass through and everything above will get attenuated. Right, so in this case, the higher frequencies, the so-called brighter frequencies will be attenuated so the sound becomes darker. Right now, as it is now, the oscillators continue to generate oscillations. The sound just goes through the filter without any way of controlling the volume. And for this, we will use a VC. A, with the VCA we can control the level, the amplitude of a signal. So let's send this signal through the VCA to the output and now I can control or we can control the amplitude, the level, right, the volume. And again it's voltage controlled so we can use external signals to do this for us and we will use in our case an envelope generator 
right? And I will send this envelope output. Uh, modulation will be green, by the way. I will send this envelope output to the CV input of the VCA, right? And an envelope generator will generate control voltage over time that we can use, for example, like here, to control the amplitude or the level of a signal via a VCA. Now, in this case, we use an ADSR envelope generator. So it has four stages. Maybe I will zoom in a bit. It has a tech, which means how quickly it will go from zero to maximum. Then we have decay, which will uh, um, dictate how, how long it will take from maximum to decay to the sustain level. This is a level control where we can change where the envelope will sustain. And then we have release, which means from the sustain level, how long it will take the envelope to reach back zero. Now I will use my MIDI keyboard to control this voice, but you can use a sequencer, or if you are using the VST version of VCV, you can use your DAW to sequence this. But again, I will use my MIDI keyboard, so I will need the MIDI to CV module. You see it's already set with my keyboard. This is the Arturia key step, right? And now I will use the gate output to gate the envelope. The gates will be blue, right? So now I can gate the envelope with my keyboard and the envelope will in turn control the volume, the amplitude of this voice. Right, and you can see exactly how the envelope is moving. So attack decay now it will sustain at this level that of course i can change and then release right now another thing that's missing here is pitch or note changes this we can do by using the volt per octave output of the midi module right so if i connect this and this will be yellow we will send this to one vco then i hold control and i can grab another cable and this will go to the second vco right volt per octave is the standard for pitch in vcv and in eurec and many other synths by the way if you want to dig deeper into all of this have a look at my online courses right there is also one all about the basics of modular or the basics of synthesis in the modular environment i go through oscillators envelopes volt per octave gates modulation and so on so if you are interested there is a link in the description but anyway now we can play this voice also with note changes Right, and now what we need is a way to control the filter over time and have more movement in color. And this we will do with another envelope. So we'll make some space here, add another envelope. And we will use this envelope again with the green cable to control the cut off point, to control this knob here, right? With this input, with this CV input. Now we will use the same gates um, to gate this envelope. Let's bring it here. So again, I hold control and I can just grab another copy of the cable. So the same gate will gate this second envelope as well. Now it will still not do anything, right? Even if I close this a bit, right? It will still not do anything because there is a dedicated control this one here to control the amplitude, the level of modulation coming from this envelope. So as long as it's closed, in this case at 12 o'clock, nothing will happen. We have to open this first and then this envelope will move the cutoff control and will create variation in color. So let's really have a listen to this. Right, you can see now the cutoff will move to the right according to this envelope generator. Right, so let's really set up now both envelopes. Let's start with the amplitude envelope just to make this a bit more brass like um, sound. So, first of all, we'll take the sustain all the way up. So, as long as I hold the note, the amplitude will stay at maximum. We will add some attack to this, just a bit, and a bit more release. So when we let go of the note, we will still have some sound, some decay. Right, 
right and now for the filter envelope and this is what gives it all this uh, really this brass sound you will have less sustain so as long as i hold the note the um, sound will be actually darker more attack or a longer attack right somewhere here and of course you can fine tune everything to your to your taste and more decay so it will take it longer to reach this sustain level this darker sound right already it resembles a bit of a brass voice just with those two envelopes Okay, now we need to add more movement and character to the sound. So first of all, what we can do, we can detune the oscillators from one another in VCV especially. The oscillators are perfectly in tune and by detuning them, we get lots and lots of movement. So now with the frequency control, we can detune their pitch. Frequency is pitch. If I hold control and shift on my keyboard, I can make micro adjustments. So I'm just going to move this just a little bit. That's already enough. And now listen to the sound. Right, there is movement without. And again with. Right, so we get lots of movement just by uh, detuning them a bit, just a tiny bit for one another. Another thing we can do is we can take one of the oscillators and octave down in pitch to get even more depth in the sound. So by default, the uh, VCO, the VCV VCO will be tuned to C4. If I right click the frequency control and I enter C4, this is the note C and the register or the octave is 4. If I enter C4 and I hit enter, right, nothing will happen. Again, the oscillator, the VCO is tuned by default to C4. So if I right click and I enter C3, the same note, just an octave down, we will get an octave down version of this oscillator. And now it will sound like this. <laughs> Right, now we can add even more movement by adding pitch modulation to one oscillator, also known as frequency modulation or FM. We can use an LFO for this. An LFO is also an oscillator, but it will generate oscillations at much lower pitch or frequency or rate. It's a low frequency oscillator and we can use these signals, these oscillations as modulation sources. So again, if I take, for example, a sine wave, right, again, modulation is green, and I send it to the FM input, the frequency modulation and frequency is pitch of this VCO. Let's listen to what happens when I start adding modulation. Right? I can change the rate of this oscillator, of this LFO. Right, but if I make it slower, and again I will hold control and shift and will add just a tiny bit, a tiny bit of modulation, let's say 0 0.12, let's say. This will add even more movement, it will detune the oscillators even more slightly and slowly. Right, and basically now we have our brass sound. Maybe we can fine tune a few things. For example, what you can do, you can fine tune the amount of modulation. You can fine tune the filter. Right, you can fine tune the envelopes. Right, and find something interesting. Right, so again, we have two saw waves coming from two VCOs. 
they are going through a low pass filter. Then we have two envelopes. One is controlling the amplitude, the level through a VCA, and another one is controlling the color or the timbre through the filter. Right, there is movement in the oscillators with the LFO. And again, this is very basic, but very, very useful. If you are interested, um, I built something a bit more advanced uh, for uh, my Patreons on Patreon. It's less beginner friendly, but the result is very beautiful. So if you're interested, there are many extra videos and content on my Patreon. But now all we need is a nice reverb and lots of it. So I will use plateau from Valley, send this signal through the reverb, and let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Right, let's also quickly listen to this in context. So you have a patch build. Don't worry too much about what's going on here. I will put a link in the description to where you can get it. You can all download it. I used only three modules, so you can all download it and have a look at what's going on and use it in your own work. So what there is here, there is a drone. Right, with lots and lots of movement. There are hi-hats here with some noise. Right. And there is a sequence. Right, just so we listen to this in context. And here I have the exact same voice, right? Two saw waves, low pass filter, two envelopes, nice amount of reverb. And that was it. If you create this sound, if you expand on it, feel free to share your results with me. You can take me here on YouTube or on Instagram. Again, have a look in the description for all the different links if you are interested. So the document, the courses, the extra videos. I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.